Hello everybody and welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host Pasquale. So, what I showed you before, this is bacala. Bacala is dry cod, very, very salty. It's a traditional dish that we make usually during the holiday, Christmas time. Uh, went to the market this morning early. I said, you know what, let me make it. I haven't made this in a long time. I'm gonna make two different ones. We can make it fry, we can make it with the olives and cherry tomato and some uh, onions and a little bit of wine. And also we can eat it raw, which is not raw, it's cured already. But it's two different ones. I think I'm gonna do the fried one and then the raw one. But we have to keep it in the water for three days and usually change the water, fresh water, twice a day. So you do it in the morning before you go to work, you do it at night when you come back, keep it in the fridge. So my dad used to keep it, you know, he used to, he used to sell it. My dad owned the deli in Italy, so he used to make it all the time. And it takes three days usually for the salt to come out of it. So when you eat it, it's not as salty. It's just flavor, but it's not too salty. So I will see you guys three days from now so we can cook it. All right? Ciao. Vicino mare, paci in mammore. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host Pasquale. A little bummed up all year because yesterday I was shoveling the snow all morning. I hurt my wrist a little bit. I'm getting old. You know, I'm not that young anymore. But listen, today I'm going to make Mamma Mia. Beautiful. A recipe from La Nonna di Pasquale, Nonna Rosa. She used to make un bacala. You know what the bacala is? It's codfish, but very, very salty. So you have to keep it three days in the water. Every day, twice a day, you gotta change the water until the salt is completely out. Now, it tastes like nothing. So what you do is, my grandmother used to make it in umido. In umido means, you know, with the cherry tomatoes and a little bit of wine and uh, uh, black olives. She used to put it in the cry in like one of those uh, terracotta pot, uh, the clay pot in, in English. And um, she used to cook them in there. It was like with a little parsley and all the garlic and all the other stuff. The good, good, the good stuff, the, the good old days. And uh, then she used to make a fritto, bacala fritto, which is fried bacala, which is amazing. I love it that way. So I'm going to make today some fried bacala which is so easy to make. And uh, also, I'm gonna make this bacala now is already cured. So keeping in the water takes all the salt away, but I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna slice it up the way my mom used to make it. She used to slice it up almost like strings. And then she used to put it in a cup or in a bowl and put a little bit of olive oil, a little pepper, a little salt because now that it's very sweet doesn't taste like nothing and uh, sometimes you can put like a couple of capers I like capers so I put little capers in it but you don't have to put capers if you don't like just salt and a little bit of salt a little pepper and olive oil mix it up nice and then leave it for a little while and then you just eat it so we're gonna make the bacala fry and I'm gonna make the raw bacala which is not even raw it's really cured but uh, so don't worry about it. you're not eating raw fish Oh, it can be sushi. So let me show you the raw part first and then I'll do the fry one. So take a nice big piece, it's still in the water, nice and fresh. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. So my grandmother or my mom used to do this. You can slice it up slow in little pieces. Do do thin pieces. And 
And see these pieces like that? I go over maybe twice. I used to like that, like that. Sometimes my mom used to just rip it apart with her hands. Which you can do, you can rip it like this. That's how they used to do it in, in Mofetta, rip it like that. Mom used to make this for us all the time, especially in the Christmas time, our holiday. It was very nice. And I, I love this. See, look. So this is what she used to do. Grab it and just rip it. Because it becomes like, like almost like a stracciatella from mozzarella. And it's nice. And the taste. Once you put a little bit of salt and the pepper, it's a, they put a lot of pepper actually. Because they like the spicy. And just olive oil, that's it. I, I you like this apron that my wife bought me. Manja is not to eat. It means eat is not to eat. It's not to eat means be quiet. We don't want to say shut up because it's a bad word, right? I just said it anyway. <laughs> now we got pepper. You want to come and see it? Come close. You guys know how to put pepper in. Uh, come on. Uh, I got to get somebody to do videos for me, you know. When I start making some money, I don't make any money. No. That's why I need support. salt. Now you say, well, you took the salt out first, and now you put it back in. And unfortunately, that's the way it is, because usually when it's very salty, it's a little too much. This goes on a, on a piece of, uh, you know, Italian bread, toasted, or just fresh, whatever you guys want. And just do this. That's how mom used to do. My grandmother, my mother. So what do you do with this, right? Mix it up really well. And then you have to taste it. But the video is all the way down there. I got to lift it a little bit. So. This is cured bacala, left in the water. You gotta change the water twice a day. Fresh water, put in the fridge. And uh, for three days. This is the fourth day. So I took it out now, it's very, I taste it, it's very sweet, it's not salty at all. But you have to season it. Olive oil, pepper, and a little bit of salt in it. Stracciatella like this, you rip with your hands, and you taste it. Oh. This is delicious. You don't even need capers with this. Sometimes I put capers. I'm not gonna put any. You're welcome to try and put the capers in. I like it just like that. So, I guess this is lunch for me. Mm. So guys, I'm gonna make the fried bacala. In a little while, stay tuned. I'll be back. Ciao. Okay, welcome back. So now we're gonna make fried bacala. Very simple, guys. So the bacala doesn't get cooked with, uh, you know, bread crumbs or anything like that. You use only flour. So a little flour in here. And I, I put more flour as I go, if I need to, because I don't need to waste it. 
Well, the way I like it, and that's my that's my preference. You guys, you guys can do it different. But this is what no one I used to make. So the pepper in the flour, so we season the flour. I have oil in the pot already, warming up because we need up the oil. You can use olive oil, you can use canola oil, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. Of course, olive oil is always the best. Now, with sugar, um, so sugar, put salt in it. And I also like a little bit of garlic. I always like garlic. You don't have to put garlic in it. Just salt and pepper. That's the seasoning. Oh, I like the smell of the garlic in here. I'm going to put a little bit more sugar. Uh, again, I said sugar. Salt. Because this is going to be the only seasoning. That's it. And it's mixed with the flour. So now we're going to wait. Let's see. Not yet. Maybe put a little higher. So in the meantime, I got the bacala right here. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that you really coat it well. And you shake it off a little bit. And we'll put it on another plate. Let me get another Christmas dish. This is leftover from Christmas. Paper can go wrong. And I'm going to put it right here. Same thing with this. It repeats. So make sure you do it. You can do it with your hands. You got clean hands. That's all you can do there. Anything that you have to dry up, usually even... Even uh, meat, you know, if you use salt, they do the same thing with this. So now beautiful, all coated. Wash my hands again. Okay, so let's try a piece and see how it works. Yeah, it works. Okay. Now we do it like, like my grandma used to do with a fork. The old days, that's what they used to do. Today we have, uh, you know, little tongue pliers, everything. There we go. It's working. I'm going to lower this a little. I don't want it to jump too much. Bacala frito. Fry bacala. Like no one I used to make. Uh, we ate so much of this when I was a kid. It was always, uh, we did not have many candies and treats. Our breakfast was uh, uh, the bread from two days ago, two days before. We dunked in the milk, milk and coffee. That's what we used to eat in breakfast. In dinner, it was whatever your mom and dad cook. And if you didn't like it, you didn't eat. There was nothing else. Prepare yourself with a nice dish with a paper towel on it. I'll put it right here so I can just take the fish when it's done, put it on. So the oil gets absorbed a little bit in the paper towel. You don't have to worry about it. So, what we're going to do is turn it once in a while. You want it to cook evenly until it gets like a little golden. And Yum yum. It's like chicken nuggets of bacala. I could probably put all of them in here. There's another three pieces and I'm done. See a small batch, that's all I got. It's plenty. That's it. Beautiful. Let it cook. Every few minutes I'll come in and I'll turn it. And then when it's done, I'm going to show you the, the, the result. All right, guys, I'll see you when it's cooked. So the color is getting beautifully. I love this. This is, this is what you want. So 
see this that's how you want to drain the oil and put it right here let's see same thing as the other one drain the oil and that's it you can hear the way it's still steamy turn off the oil here move it on the side nobody gets hurt And then on top of that, what we do is sprinkle a little bit of salt so it gives a nice flavor to the, the outside crust. Okay, so time to taste this beautiful crocantini. So what I'm going to do is, they're right here, fried bacala. So what I did is this, I'm going to try simple, just with nothing. Then I put a little tartar sauce, sauce over here and a lemon. I'm going to try different ways. So first thing I do, I let a little bite. That's hot. Mm. Delicious. Very good. It's like eating potato chip fish. Let's try this with the tartar sauce. Let's see. I have to say, mamma mia, very, very good. Delicioso. We're gonna get a little piece. This one, put a little bit of lemon on it. Let's see. Mm. Very hot, but delicious. Even the dog is here, wants some. I bet if I give him that, he will love it. Oh, I'm gonna have a little more with the tartar sauce. This tartar sauce is delicious. I usually don't eat fish with the tartar sauce, but it's a good combination. Mm. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Conclusion of the video, fried bacala and cured bacala. So you got both of them there. Very easy, very simple. So with that saluted, this is my video for 2022. And I hope everybody stays safe. And please guys, just be careful and keep following me, keep, uh, liking and subscribing to my channel share with your friends and family i need your support so i can fix my wrist <laughs> just joking but guys i appreciate your support and uh, it means a lot to me thank you so much everybody ciao a tutti salute